Welcome, Polish Cinema Australia. We are in Poland, in the beautiful city of Wrocław, and we are at the Nowe Horizonte Film Festival. And I'm absolutely delighted to have with us um, one of uh, Poland's most talked about film directors at the moment, Xaveri Szuławski. Welcome, Xaveri. Hello. It's been interesting times um, at the moment uh, with your latest film, Mowa Ptaków, but perhaps uh, before we touch on that, if we were to step back and let's say, talk about how you first became a filmmaker and was it sort of difficult for you given that your father was such a well-known filmmaker? Well, uh, you actually said it all. That means my father was a well-known filmmaker and that exactly made me uh, feel for him and try to follow his steps and he was like a, a big very important person not only as my father but also as a movie director for me and that's it I just tried I just tried to follow his steps so my decision was very early uh, made so I, I must have have like 12 I've been 12 when they ask me what you want to do in the future who you're gonna be and stuff like that so I always answered I want to be a film director which sounds a bit creepy <laughs> especially for my father and uh, yeah and the only thing he said when I confirmed and when I said I want to go to uh, Wuch film school try to pass the exams and everything get into so he said okay the only problem might be my son is if you don't have talent if you don't have talent then you're gonna waste your life so, and no one's gonna tell you if you have this talent or not so you have to evaluate you have to know about it so through all these years I've been wondering do I have talent and um, I made two feature films till now a uh, few TV serials, many commercials um, I've been working as a second director, assistant director for many years and uh, just before his dead, he's dead? Yeah? Dead. Just, before, just before his death uh, like two weeks before my father handed me the script of Mova Takov, Bird's Talk uh, it, for me it wasn't the time to even think about it or read it or anything he just lent it to me and he said like okay you can read it do whatever you want with it but it's yours mm. so I took it put it down in on the back seat of my car and actually I forgot about it because he, he my father was dying and that was the most important matter at the at the moment a few months later uh, a producer Marcin Wieszkosławski who had some businesses with my father uh, called me and said hey you know I have this script Birdstock you know Mova Ptakov and I thought you could just direct it and I was like oh really that's really strange because I also actually my father gave the script to me just a few months ago but at the beginning I said no I said, no, 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 this is not a, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to go like exactly after my father. I don't want to follow. I am afraid of, you know, being some kind of, some, so, somehow unable to, to not, it's not a good word, but they say copy his style. This is not a good word, yeah. but you even try to follow his style, uh, which was very original. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you want to put your own signature Yes, or, or you know, follow your way. It's, it's, it's always the, the same song, yeah. But but I said, okay, let me just. I, I need time to think. I need to read it. I need to think, you know. And I, when I opened this, it was like 170 pages, full of dialogue. And I was like, oh my god, I just I just don't get it. I was too emotional, and I was just like, oh, this, all these you know scenes and all, all what was written inside was too emotional for me. So I thought Birdstock, it's a, it's a funny title, let's say. It's a very intriguing title because at the beginning when you say Birdstock or Movaptakov sounds like childish uh, and 
how to say, nie winny po polsku to jest innocent. Innocent, innocent title. And actually, more you get into it, more you think about it, and it gets the power. Gets the power and actually, it's probably the title saying. Okay, we know how busy you are, yeah, so, especially is. at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow is the big day. It's the first screening for the audience at the festival, first time like a worldwide premiere, let's yes. say. So yeah, we, we I'm quite a busy person right now. Yeah. So 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 just just talking about it. I mean that project uh, that your father started off with the script that he's passed on to you is that must have been a very deep and personal process for you to Was. complete. Yeah. And uh, at the beginning I thought we could pay a tribute uh, to my father's work and and I thought we could divide the script into four pieces. Uh, I asked a few of known, let's say young Polish directors or middle-aged <laughs> uh, Polish directors. It was Jacek Bortuch, Jan Komasa and Piotr Kielar and me actually the script the script yeah we tried we analyzed we made a lot of analysis about that and we talked a lot and actually we divide the film into four pieces and and we tried actually for this idea we, we got the money we got not big money but let's say and just enough to to shoot and uh, and uh, at that moment two of these directors got their own, own movies to do so they like went on a journey and yes. they couldn't follow the, this this film and actually right now we know that it meant to be this way and that uh, we actually it was me who was he was all to do this film and this like my father was just from above guiding this yeah. this process so I landed and finally I ended up as as the only director of this movie, but guys really uh, helped, helped me uh, to understand and to maybe get f a bit free of the heaviness of the name of my father and the family story and all that. I saw that we can describe this script not only through this point of view, which is a Zulawski personal yeah, point of view. You can also like make it more maybe communicative to everyone. Yeah. And, and it's a very, um, as we spoke, the film is making a lot of headlines uh, in Poland. Uh, was that a surprise for you that they uh, rejected the film? I mean, time? of course, I, I somehow predicted it, I somehow felt it that it might be a problem for this film to get into the Grinia main competition. I thought, I didn't think, because let's say it's a quite ambiguous or maybe a little bit complicated process of selecting the films for the, for the competition. There is two, uh, two juries, two, two com selective committee, let's say, mm -hmm. which are the organizers committee and the director, let's, let's say, director's committee. And this first committee, director's committee, brings out, let's say, 16 movies which eight of them are on, you cannot just kick them out. Yes. Yeah? So this is like a golden list of eight and 16, you can work upon the eight other films. And so this, this list got to the uh, or organizers, to the committee of the organizers, and suddenly they decided to just uh, cross our film and few others from the list of eight. And that made uh, our, let's say, society, movies, main, movie maker society, that made uh, you know, the news and the s selection committee said, okay, we've been tricked somehow and we don't feel pretty well with that. And, uh, and they actually resigned. And at the moment they resigned, it made, uh, you know, that was a big yeah. news and so the organizers committee which is linked to ministry of culture polish national tv and etc etc they actually stepped back they said okay we don't want to do any more mess here yeah. and we 
accept the films back. And, but this, this process made the news all around Poland, let's say. And f in 48 minutes, or 48 hours, in 48 hours, our film gained uh, this publicity. Publicity, yeah. exactly. It's a movie about, also about Polish paradox, which is very interior, you know, very ambiguous, uh, historical yes. and cultural uh, paradoxes which we are living in. And it, uh, this film points out few of them. Well, look, there, there is uh, many young aspiring filmmakers out there. So, very, um, what advice can you provide to some of the young hopefuls out there? Oh man, it's so hard. I know it's so hard. I know that we are in the system, uh, all of us, and we have to make decisions between: do I go with the flow of the system, or do I try my way? which is always much harder, but I think you just, if you want to do things which are above average, you got to follow your instincts, you have to say the truth <laughs> in your films, and, uh, and be very critical towards your, what you, towards what you do, yeah, and uh, you must be, let's say, at the moment of shooting at the moment of making the film you need to feel freedom which is very hard to feel in the circumstances all over the world right now yes because the, the business money that's the thing which makes us uh, in, in, yes, prison. in in prison yeah in it, prison. it can distort the picture somewhat doesn't it i i found a very funny saying about that is that democracy kills art. That is a very powerful statement, thanks a very. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, uh, we know how busy you are and we just want to wish you um, all the best uh, for tomorrow's opening at the Nobel Horizonte thank Film you. Festival in Wrocław. And uh, look, thank you very much for joining uh, Polish Cinema Australia.